So here's what you do. Once you get that text saying, let's FaceTime, if you're available to actually FaceTime, you start getting ready at that moment that you get that text. Give it about three minutes. You're already three minutes in and they don't know that you already started getting ready putting on the brows, doing whatever it is that you need to do. And then you respond back like, oh yeah, sure. Just give me a minute or two. A minute or two goes by. And then once you actually FaceTime, it's like, hello, how are you today? Is everything good? How was work? You know? <laughs> Hello, if you've never seen me before, hi, my name is Yuki, and if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. As you can see today, I'm coming to you guys straight from the headquarters of Ashu Holdings Limited Company Worldwide Incorporated. Yeah, let me at least put on some chapsticks so I'm not disgracing my entire generation. So I just wanted to do like a fun, short little video today. This idea came to me a few weeks ago when I was thinking of how annoying it can be whenever someone just FaceTimes you out of nowhere. I don't know about you guys, but you know, you need an appointment, okay? You don't need makeup to impress anyone. You don't need makeup to feel better, to feel confident about yourself. Sometimes it's just, you know, when you got, you got those feelings that are coming up and you know, you're getting to know someone new. It's kind of like, just that stage where you you don't want to be looking haggard and scattered you know that's that's just it that's all i will be showing you guys how to get ready for a facetime appointment in less than five minutes because you know that's what they always do either they facetime you like just right then and there on the spot which i don't answer that's just my own personal preference i'll just look that don't okay or they'll be like oh let's facetime after you've gotten to know someone for a while usually this will kind of just all go away but this is usually for when you know you're just getting to know somebody and you know you just you don't want to you want to you want to keep things moving you know what i mean <laughs> nothing big no foundation nothing too crazy just it's a very quick arrangement here and there <laughs> for me the very first thing is to moisturize that is why i came to you guys looking all ashy mcnashy today you can use any moisturizer and i'm just gonna take off my chapstick just for demonstration purposes you got the basic package and then you have the premium package right so the basic package is you know moisturizer maybe a little bit of brows and then you're done but the premium package we're gonna take it a little bit further it's still gonna be within five minutes of course don't forget your neck and your ears just in case ashes on a hundred that day I mean you could take it a step further and exfoliate real quickly but you know ain't nobody got time for that so Thank God the FaceTime camera is not HD. I'll say that much. <laughs> so the main thing with this is actually prioritization because you really wanna make sure that all the stuff that you're doing first is all stuff that could easily make or break your face. So I actually used to tweeze off the ends of my eyebrows. So the first thing I would do even before moisturizer was to fill in that portion of my brows. For brows, I always use the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara in the color clear. It's transparent, but I just go in and I brush up my brows, give them the illusion that they're groomed if your brows are full you really don't even need to go in and do anything else to them while i'm letting the brows dry down i'm going to move back to the base because i do have some hyperpigmentation i would like to maybe just kind of conceal some of the darkest spots now this is a step that i actually have never done prior to getting on facetime just because i'm I, what, what is the point if you like you like what you see if you like you don't like it that's your problem but for the purposes of demonstrating for this video I'll go ahead and conceal anyway. I'm trying to get this video under five minutes, but I don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs> Put one dot under each eye. Oh, whoops. Okay, there we go. And I'm actually going to be using my finger to blend this out. I chose a Kylie concealer because I feel like it's not as full coverage as some of my other concealers. I kind of do still want a bit of that natural skin coming through. Probably best to use a concealer that's closer to your skin tone. The heat from your finger will help to blend out the concealer much more efficiently and a little bit faster. You don't have to reach for a tool or go wet your beauty blender because you're running low on time. They should not even be able to tell that you have makeup on. You can use a full coverage concealer and still get the same results. What you can do is to maybe mix a little bit of your moisturizer in there to kind of tone it down a little bit and then go in and just pat it in. Right here, I would probably stop here. You don't even have to set it because it's gonna be like skin. I feel like applying powder 
would definitely take away from the naturalness of this. So with me, I would personally stop here, but I am going to go further for those of you who want a little bit more, more sauce, you know, you want more pepper soup, peppering them. I did leave a little bit of moisturizer on the back of my hand and there's a reason I did that. We'll get to it in a little bit. I'm just going to go back to the brows and add a few strokes just to give me more fullness towards the tail end. And you don't have to spend long on this at all. This literally just takes seconds. And you want to be careful with this because you can easily overdo it with the brows and you you don't want to end up having to go in to like clean up with concealer and all of that because it's just going to take more time. So I think I'm comfortable with that. I think that looks good for me. I like using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the color black. Ever since discovering this, I have not repurchased ABH Brow Wiz. Something like this is perfect because one, it has a spoolie on the other end. You don't need any other tools. You just need the one tool. And I feel like a pencil is a great tool for the brows for something like this, especially because when it's fast and with a pencil, you can create really thin hair-like strokes that look natural. And you can also go in and deepen and darken things up if you want. It's just really based on your own preference. For something like this, I really wouldn't go over my eyelids at all with the concealer. Hyperpigmentation is not always a bad thing, okay? I like to call these brown natural smoky eyes. So I'll leave the upper lid space just the way it is and not even touch it at all. And if you want a little bit of a glow, here is where that moisturizer on the back of my hand comes in. Just gonna apply a little tiny dot of Danessa Myrick's Illuminating Veil. This one is in the color Goddess. Oh, there, there we go. All right. Got a little bit of extra product there. We're just gonna, I don't know what we're gonna do with that. We're just kind of, yeah, just set that aside. So I've got the tiniest little dot on my hand. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. This step is super optional, but if you don't have a liquid highlighter, you don't even really have to do this. You can use Vaseline and put that on your cheek and that could illuminate, like, for real. And the reason I keep kind of rubbing it all over my hand is because I don't want to pick up too much of the product, but you can kind of see it's reflective a little bit. You can maybe even put a little bit underneath the brows. Let's even apply a little bit to the nose here. You could even apply some of it to your lips. Ooh. Excuse me. Can I have a moment of your time, please? So here we have it. What you could also do is to apply some of it onto your eyes. And if you want just a little bit more of the illuminating veil, you can do that as well. It's basically up to you. Blend it out on the back of my hand and then just go in and tap it in there. Now you can really see the product a little bit more. Yeah, I could have gotten away with using more of this in the beginning. So you could use more than just that little drop I used earlier. Can you imagine in like 10 years when like FaceTime cameras are probably gonna be in 4K or something crazy like that? So here you have it looking like a natural glowing goddess. I'm gonna add a little bit of chapstick. I feel like I want a little bit more shine to the lips, maybe a tad bit more color. So I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty um, Lip Luminizer Gloss. Just a little dash, literally just a dash. And for the last step, you could go ahead and add some mascara, you know, for those of our fellow brethren and sistren who have been blessed with long lashes. Can't stand y'all. But it's all right though, us, you know, the bald squad, we'll catch up to you guys once the whole full glam session comes into play and we can put on our false lashes and curl up to the sky. So here you have it, all these steps, if I wasn't talking and explaining everything, would take me well under five minutes. You'd be surprised how quickly you can get your makeup done when you're in a rush to see someone that you're actually interested in. <laughs> if you enjoyed this, please do not forget to give it a thumbs up and also comment down below in the comment section to let me know what you think. If you wanna see more stuff like this, it's just kind of every day and you know, just super effortless, let me know. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell to get all notifications so you never miss an upload from me. And also follow me on social media, I'm on Facebook, Facebook, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Snapchat, I'm also on Instagram, so be sure to follow me on Instagram to see more of like my visual looks and all of that stuff. Also, be sure to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my posts on Instagram. So yeah, that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one, Lord willing. Stay blessed, bye.